welcome to Lou's Lounge. Thank How you. How are you doing? I'm so good. I'm so happy to see you. It's I'm been about so happy you're six here. million years. I know, it's been forever. Um, how have you been? I've been amazing. I want you to give everyone a little bit of an introduction, an introduction, <laughs> a bit of an introduction to who you are and what you've been up to. Okay. Hey guys, it's Cara Marnie here. I am a singer-songwriter from London and I've currently been stuck in a global pandemic. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> no um, I have been finishing, apart from obviously quarantining, um, I've been finishing off my next project, um, which is coming out very soon. I'm very excited. I need to play some stuff actually. Yes. Um, and planning my upcoming shows um, and just trying to remember what life is like being a human that interacts with other members <laughs> apart from your family. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's hard. I'm it's gotten so hard. Like, the first two weeks of coming out of everything, I was like, anxiety mm -hmm. was like at a sky high. I've mm. forgotten how to make conversation with people. This really helps me. Yeah. Because I'm like, oh, I remember, but I have some You're thoughts. remembering how to communicate people, <laughs> yeah. speaking. It's yeah. not so scary. It's hard. No, but it is weird. Like, I felt like I had a bit of agoraphobia when I first stepped out. Mm. Um, just kind of like, oh my goodness. Like, genuinely, like, it is so weird because you forget, it's not that you forget how to communicate, but you're so used to being like isolated on your own that it's then like integrating is a weird thing but yeah i mean we're gonna figure it out and the thing is everyone's been in the same situation yeah. so it's not like we're kind of the odd ones out it's like everyone's trying to get back into the flow of things mm. and yeah i mean this is the start of more hopefully normality yeah exactly it's just really difficult and especially like you just said about planning your new shows What's the vibe of that? Are we going like? Because I've I've been to a couple of your shows. You've now. been. You've I've been, been. I'm a fan. Number one. She's my I'm number the one. number one fan. She has and banners up there. And you've actually come on stage with me. So I've I come on stage like with you as well. Together as well. It's so nice. I know. So where like do we, can we have any inside? So well, scoop? my next show <laughs> is the scoop. The um, scoop. Obviously, a lot of festivals have been cancelled because of obviously COVID, but. Uh, Reading and Leeds is going ahead, which is really exciting. Um, and then playing the Radio One stage, so I can't wow. wait for that. Um, it's That's actually so the dance sick. stage, and I make slow R&B music, so it's kind of like <laughs> interesting. I'm like, oh, you can get but people up and dancing. Though. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna play some remix versions. I'm gonna, we're gonna figure it out, and it's gonna be great. And to be honest with you, it'll be nice. Just, well, I haven't been on stage in about two years mm. i mean how about you is that the same, same yeah. isn't that so weird like that feels strange to me i'm like i know honestly yesterday i had a meltdown because i was just i was crying so much and i was just like it feels so uncomfortable to know what i'm going to be doing in mm -hmm. a few months after no in a few days after not doing it for almost two years mm -hmm. it's scary mm -hmm. like when you when you get back into rehearsals and you start practicing again and you start getting out there again it's like it feels all new. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. That's what it feels no, like. No, 100%. I've even forgotten some of the words to my own song. I mean, let's be honest, I've been guilty of that as well. I'm like, I just point, I point to the yeah. audience. I'm like, come on. Honestly, and they're like, can you, can you sing some? I'm like, it takes it out of you. Like, no, I just, you get out of the swing of it, and then it's just like, whoa. But we'll get there. We'll get there. And the thing is, it's once we do a few bits, dust off the, the cobwebs, we're going to be absolutely fine. Yeah. I walked into my vocal coach's room, and you were in there recording with him or uh, vocaling with him or something. Yeah, yeah. And I just remember it was the time your song Golden was just coming out, I think. Was it that early? Yeah. Gosh. And Josh was like, you need to listen to this girl. He was, uh, she's amazing. He was amazing. She was amazing. Um, he? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I don't know when I last had a sex change, but. <laughs> oh, dear. He's uh, really amazing. Caro Marnie. <laughs> I'm not Cairo Marnie. <laughs> Um, no, he said she was only to do that again. <laughs> keep Woo! going, keep going. <laughs> oh, I walked into my vocal coach's <laughs> recording room. Yeah. And you were vocaling with him or doing whatever. And he just said to me, Cara is amazing, you need to listen to her stuff. And, it, and he was like, 
you need to listen to Golden. And it was the time that your single had just come out, Golden. And then after he mentioned that to me, I was hearing it in Superdrug. I was hearing it in Sainsbury's. I was hearing it Where are you? Yeah, honestly. Do you not remember? <laughs> oh, no, you just screamed. Like, is this you? You, you <laughs> just screen record. I think you were in House of Fraser or something. <laughs> you're like, I'm in House of Fraser. I can hear your song. I was like, oh, trust me. Oh, it was so good. Telling me where my songs are being played. So, like, from that moment to now, so much has, like, happened for you. And so much has blossomed. You went on tour with Rita. Yes. That was that looked sick. That was that sick. was that fun. Sick. That was fun. That looked really good. How was it? How was the whole experience? Was that like your biggest thing at that moment? Yeah, I think that's been my biggest like support tour because yeah. obviously I've opened up for Ray yeah. and and done some other bits and bobs. But sick. the Rita the Rita shows were amazing. To be fair, like I, I I'd never performed to like audience of that size. Obviously, you're used to that. But um, for me, I, I I've kind of very much been like. Do, like just working my way up a little bit and mm. it's taken it has taken time but being able to kind of get that experience of doing things on a much bigger scale and doing those shows it is amazing and Rita's like amazing you you yeah. you know Rita yeah um, she was my mentor yeah that's uh, that I, so I can't weird. believe yeah, that even that it's weird that's so mad I know. um but yeah, she she's so professional, so hardworking, so lovely. She's so on it, isn't and she? And she's just like a boss. And it yeah. was just great to see from like my perspective of just like what kind of true success is and what it takes. Mm. And like, you know, I was always very much in awe of just like, you know, she even I, I, like say the day of a show. I would just be getting ready. I'd be maybe doing a few interviews here and there, but she would literally like fly in from X, Y, and Z. And she's done about two shows before. I was like, so she's just, she's done two shows and now she's doing this. Like, wow. so, like I was like, this girl was like, doesn't stop. A workaholic. It's, it That's was, insane. yeah, it, was, it wow. was crazy. And I was like, just kind of really grateful. I was like, oh, I'm so like tired, but we're going to march Soon through this to be one you. today. <laughs> You'll get there. <laughs> oh, but no, it was amazing. And like, I, I can't wait to just get back on stage. I just miss that feeling know, of being able to, you know. Um, it's such a special feeling when everyone's singing your music. Or even just when when you look out and everyone's smiling and you're just like, this is what it's about. Sometimes you can get so wrapped up in this world that it's mm. like, you forget that that is what you're here to do. Mm -hmm. And that's what you were made to do. Mm -hmm. And it's just such a special feeling when you go out there and you're just like, it, I don't know, it just makes everything worth it. A hundred percent. And, and it, it's like, you don't realise at the time, but like, you're you're making people's nights. Like, as in... When you do these performances and these shows, like people remember that and they come, do you know when, like I can only think of when I go to shows, like when I went to see Beyonce at the O2, when I went to see mm. Spice Girls, I was just like, I will remember that forever. And they remember that as yeah. well. And you're like, a, well, I was probably a much smaller part than say Rita was. They weren't there to see me. But, um, <laughs> no, but still, still, a little part, it. it's a little part. Yeah, exactly. It makes everything so worth it. It does, it does. Now get us back on stage. Yeah, we're almost there, babe. We're almost we're there. Gonna we'll get be there. smashing life together soon. <laughs> we have to get back on stage again. Yeah, we did that, together. I can't believe how last minute that was when right, we so did. We need to. We need to explain the yeah. situation. Yeah. So, so I was doing a show. <laughs> I was doing a show. Where were we? Where were we? It know, was near it was where on, you lived. Yeah, it was in Essex somewhere. It was in a really, really huge field. They made it into this like little mini festival. Mm -hmm. And did you just come? Like you just. I think you. I, I think invited you. Maybe. You invited me, but we weren't intending on like playing together. No, I just invited Kara, and I was like, "Come, come see you me. Like, just I'm come here. hang. You had a free day. Yes. And literally, you came to my dressing room, and I was like, "Why don't you just come on stage with me? It'll be fun." He's like, "I know but this is like, but do you want to jump on the stage?" I was like, "Ah, uh, I the mean, I haven't got my makeup for, on. I'm like, currently in my pajamas, but why not?" I was like, "Choose some clothes, get some makeup on. Let's do this." And we just made it happen. It was so last minute, but it was just so much fun. It was so fun, it was and so fun. people that were at in the festival had come to my shows as well. That's so sick. like we have a couple of like mutual supporters. Yeah. And afterwards, they were like, I can't believe it. Like, how random. Like, they so didn't understand, random. but now oh, they know. They're the moments that I live for. I live for those. Like, it makes me happy. <laughs> you smashed that gig. Well, I know that you just came from somewhere and I see your guitar over there. So I really want you to get that out for me. Should we get it <laughs> because out? Because I really want you to sing for me. <laughs> well, we can sing together. Yeah, we can sing together. How about that? Absolutely. Okay.
It's actually Amy Winehouse's anniversary tomorrow. Yes. So I was thinking maybe we could sing one Do of her songs. Song. Honour the Queen herself. Yes, please. Okay. For you I was a flame. Love is a losing game. Five story fire as you Is a losing game. One I wish I never played. Oh, what a mess we made. And now the final frame. Oh, love. Is a losing game. Ashes to ashes, passion and fantasy dreams all fall. We bid farewell to the fairy tale of when we were young. See, no one ever told us we need more. We need more. They say love is perfect. Woo! They say love is blind. They say love is worth it. But you gotta know, sometimes love just ain't enough. Love just ain't enough. Love just ain't enough. Oh. when you don't practice beforehand. Now we got it in the end though, we smashed it. So I have this section in each Lou's Lounge. Right. And it's called, Yeah But How Are You? Right, what's, what's that so, about? So, Yeah But How Are You is basically, how are you right now in this moment? Mm -hmm. We have had an amazing chat, we've had so much fun, you know, talking about our career strength, what's gone on, but I wanna know what you do when you're not so okay. And if mm -hmm. you ever get those moments where, you know, you need a bit of help or, how do you lift yourself back up? Mm -hmm. I want to get a bit deep with you and just, yeah, how are you doing right now? To be brutally honest, Lou, I, <laughs> right now, I'm hungry. <laughs> Only I you could would dive headfirst into a Domino's. <laughs> no, um, obviously, no, to be honest, with the sun shining, I mean, obviously, company of Miss of Louisa what? Johnson right here. I mean, I'm not going to be anything other than happy yeah. <laughs> uh, but obviously with you know it's been hard that the pandemic I think has affected all of us like in a in some type of way you know whether that be preventing us from doing our jobs or feeling sad that we can't kind of socialize and be with our friends and it has been hard but I genuinely feel like music I know that's like that mm. sounds like so obvious but like being able to just still like right at home and I learned how to like vocal produce and I wow. really just kind of got stuck into that and that yeah. honestly has been my like saving grace because you see have you seen my shed yeah oh yeah you came on shed, shed, so shed sessions um I've just literally been locked away in that shed for pretty much the whole time and really just got stuck in with like writing my next EP I pretty much recorded that all myself as well which Amazing. to be honest with you for someone that is completely inept at using technology <laughs> Being locked away in my shed has been my little cave, it's been my little bubble, and honestly, it's my safe space. Yeah. And I've been able to like just really put everything, all my feelings into my next EP, my songs, and that has honestly just like helped me so much. Music is such a savior for so many people. Mm -hmm. like, I know me, I don't think I would have survived lockdown if there was no music. Mm -hmm. And this is the crazy thing about the industry. Like, it's the last thing to come back, but it's the first thing everyone turns to when they're feeling kind of low. 100%. And I think music is so special and important in that way. Like, it brings people together. It's like a connection that you don't really get anywhere else. So, it's 100% true. And I think it's like, 
it's the same with like movies mm. and books like without all these things that have entertained us we would be lost mm. and i just feel really yeah i feel grateful that we have that you know we can we can, we have that outlet you know and but i'm i'm really kind of looking forward to getting back to normal um we are kind of semi back to normal ish minus the masks i mean can we do masks no i don't know. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Those masks, <laughs> if I see another mask, I swear. Like those uh, masks just like, they really irritate my skin. Yeah. I know that's not first world problem. Yeah. We are pr trying to protect people from getting ill, but. Gotta do what you gotta The do. breakouts, the break. <laughs> <laughs> no, but me. honestly, thank you so much for having me. I've thank had you. so much fun. We're gonna do a sleepover soon. Yes. Dinner. Dinner. Wine, I need to try that restaurant that you always post about on yeah. your Instagram. What one? Is the is it sheesh? Oh my god, yeah. We well, I sheesh. haven't been, and I need to try oh, that. You, you would love. I was sheesh. thinking you about just driving about up there sheesh. the other day oh just god. to try it. Yes, we should go. Okay, 100%. we're gonna go. Absolutely, well, that's, that's sorted. Deal. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Honestly, it's been so fun, and it's been so good catching up with you. My I absolute love pleasure. you. Love you too. Give me a hug. Let me give you a guitar hug. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you for having I me. I will see you soon, my darling. I will see you very soon. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If any of the stuff we spoke about today resonated with you and you wanna reach out to someone for help, please have a look at the links below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Mwah.